for that what we have here is the Gaskey's Y chart the Gaskey is a scientist who discovered this and it looks like Y it has three domains so you can also call it as the domains of VHDL okay the very first domain is the behavioral domain next one is the structural domain and the last one is the physical domain now there is a very interesting part in this Gaskey's Y chart we will start from the center now exactly at the center if you consider all the three sections are covered behavior structural and physical domain so in the close path this is a very basic point from where you can start the logic design which will be consisting of only voltages and currents of the circuit okay so more you draw the concentric lines or the concentric circles towards this like i'm drawing here so this is the first one and the second one you can draw the number of lines okay the extent of each domain with each circle starting from circle number one two three let me name it one two three so the first circle which is only related with the voltages and the current flowing through the logic circuits a very basic one second one broader extent towards the behavioral domain as well as in structural and the physical domain so that part you can refer to as boolean expressions so the second one is boolean expressions or boolean logic if you go further towards the third circle we can call it as the system approach or the system level design now in system level design there are number of boolean expressions are involved okay and in boolean expressions there are number of logic gates are involved so what you can call it exactly at the center there is a basic logic that is the zero or one logic and the current or the voltages okay now let us see what is behavioral domain what is structural and what is physical domain so behavior the name at itself is suggests that output should come like this it should behave like this let us take an example for an AND gate there's a box and I want this box to behave as AND means what it has got two inputs and one output and if the inputs are A and B the output should be Y is equal to A and with B this is the behavior so in the behavioral part what we can say actually only input and outputs are required or input and outputs are only the requirements that how many inputs are there and how many outputs are there so number of inputs and number of outputs are specified in the behavioral domain so this is the behavioral domain the next one is the structural domain so let us see what is the structural domain actually is the structural domain or suggests the structure that is nothing but the interconnection between transistors and resistors or whatever the technology is used it may be a ttl logic rtl logic or the cmos or pmos logic okay so structural domain suggests the interconnection between various components so what i will write here it suggests interconnection between various components now these components they can be resistors transistors cmos pmos or logic gate can be anything the structural domain suggests the interconnection between these various components we can take an example of our boolean expressions okay now in this structural if i say the connections between the components so let me take an example let us consider an expression in which two or gates are connected to one and gate now this interconnection is mentioned how these and gates and or gates are connected to each other in the structural domain means what it will suggest me that if suppose this or gate is having pin numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this and gate is having input 1 1 dash 2 dash and the 3 dash so the structural domain will indicate that the output of or gate that is nothing but 3 is connected to 1 dash whereas 6 is connected to 2 dash so this is nothing but the interconnection between components or the input outputs only it will be involved in the structural domain not the data flow data flow means what how the data is flowing through these channels it is not concerned with that the structural domain only concerned with the output it should be connected to the input of the AND gate and the output of the second OR gate should be connected to the second input of the AND gate it will never care about the data so that's all about the structural domain so till now what we have seen we have seen the behavioral domain and the structural domain and the last part that is nothing but the 
फिजिकल डोमेन है 